Good day, and welcome to our physical education online class. Together, we will explore knowledge and skills that will help you and your family develop a lifelong habit of physical fitness and wellness. For this session, let's talk about the basic skills in volleyball. Our learning competencies are Execute the skills involved in the sport Display tolerance and acceptance of individuals with varying skills and abilities. Before we begin, let's answer your pre-test. The table indicates the basic skills in playing team sports. Identify which sport each skill belongs to. Write your answers on the space provided. Good job! Before we proceed to our next lesson in physical education, let us recall our past lesson about the nature and background of volleyball. Complete the diagram below. Go through with your arm. Your arm should continue in an upward arc after you hit the ball. Now let's go to overhand service. Overhand service in volleyball is a serve in which the player tosses the ball with one hand and strike it in the air above the head with the other hand. How to execute overhand serve? First, stagger your feet. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Second, hold the ball in front of you. Third, ready your hitting hand. Swing your serving arm back next to your hand. Make sure that your elbow is pointing upwards and your hand is at or slightly above your ear. This stance opens your body. Fourth, toss the ball into the air. Lift the ball with your palm in the air. Keep the ball in line with your hitting shoulder in front of you so you can step into the serve. Fifth, aim for your serve with your body. And last, hit the ball with the heel of your dominant hand. Next is the jump service. Jump service is a type of volleyball serve where the player increases the power and height of their serve by jumping into the hit. Renan Del Zotto, outside player for Brazil's national volleyball team, 
popularized the jump serve in 1984 in the Olympics. How to execute a jump serve First, place the ball in left hand. Second, toss the ball high in several feet in front of you. Third, use an abbreviated attack approach, swinging both arms behind you and then forward and up while stepping forward with the left foot and then a quick hop. Fourth, jump up and forward, making sure to take off behind the end line. Fifth, contact the ball at the top of your reach and at the top of your jump. Six. Strike the ball toward the top of the back with your palm and follow through with your arm swing, aiming outward and downward to put top spin on the ball. The next skill is passing. A volleyball pass is done with the objective to move the ball to a teammate called a setter. It is the first touch by the team. The passing skill is performed on a ball 1. That has been served 2. On a ball that is attacked by the opponent with the ball should occur just above the center of your forehead, roughly at your hairline. 9. Push upwards. As soon as the ball touches your fingers, straighten your arms and legs as you push the ball upward in the direction of the spiker. And lastly, follow through. At the end of your set, your arms should be fully extended, and you should follow through with your hands by straightening your wrist after releasing the ball. The next skill is spiking. Spiking is the act of scoring a point by slamming the ball over the net into the opposing court effectively and aggressively. In many ways, the mechanism of volleyball spiking is not altogether different from the act of slam dunking in the sports of basketball, 
or smashing in the sport of tennis. Bend your knees when your feet hit the ground. This will help you regain balance and avoid ankle injury. Make sure you don't fall into the net as you land. The last skill is blocking. Blocking is defined as deflecting the ball coming from your opponent's attack hit. Blocking in volleyball is one of the least taught yet most important skills. It is the first line of defense against the attacks from the opposing team and creates less court for the back defense to cover. How to block in volleyball? 1. Stand with your feet shoulder length apart square to the net. Keeping your feet the proper distance apart will help you with your footwork. 2. Keep your knees bent. Keeping your knees bent is an essential part of the ready position. 3. Keep your arms high. Keep your arms high with your elbows around shoulder height. This also reduces the time it takes to get your arms up for the block. 4. Keep your palms facing the net. This puts them at the correct angle for blocking and again reduces the time needed to get your hands in position. 5. Jump straight up. Get yourself directly in front of the shoulder of the hitter and jump straight up to attempt a block. 6. Position your arms at an angle over the net. Arms should be straight and go over the net as far as possible. Let's wrap it up. Volleyball involves some basic skills that needs to be mastered by the players in order to become competitive. These skills include attack, serve, set, pass, and block. There are specific techniques which are involved as part of these basic skills. Acquiring these skills has been considered to be one of the key success factors in volleyball of even high level. Let's answer this activity. Choose at least two skills that you have learned in volleyball as an important tool to become a competitive volleyball player. Based on the skills that you have chosen, Answer the following questions below. 1. Why did you choose those skills? 2. How will it help you to become a good volleyball player? And 3. Are you willing to share those skills to others? Why? Good job! Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something from our lesson today. Always remember to please be careful while doing our activities. I'll see you again next session. Goodbye!